Closing the North Sea in a nearly 400 mile long dam may save Europe from complete disaster. This is not some sci-fi stuff, it's real. And it's called Need, Northern European Enclosure Dam. It's a last ditch plan to save over 25 million people from 15 European countries from the rising sea levels. To build this giant bathtub, humans need one dam between England and France, another one between Norway and Scotland, 51 billion tons of sand and almost 600 billion euros. As crazy as it may sound, this project mm. is totally feasible, except for one teeny tiny detail. The scientists who had this literally life-saving idea don't want the dam to be built. First and foremost, the need needs <laughs> two dams. One that is 100 miles long and almost 334 feet deep in the English Channel, and another that is 300 miles long and more than 1,000 feet deep in the North Sea. Building something like this requires a crazy amount of materials, like the 51 billion tons of sand we mentioned before, which is basically all the sand everyone on the planet uses in a year. And yes, this dam would obviously be the biggest in history, smashing records like the Netherlands' 19-mile Afslut Dyke and South Korea's 20-mile Semangam Seawall. The Need Dam would be 19 times bigger than Semangam. It sounds ridiculous, but it's not impossible. You see, humans are pretty good at building big stuff. Oil rigs, for example, operate at depths of up to 6,500 feet, and the Need Dam would only go down more than 1,000 feet. Plus, China has a 102-mile-long bridge, and the dam would only be four times longer. Besides, projects like this dam were done before for the exact same reason. It's our friend Absolute Dyke in the Netherlands, which was built almost 100 years ago. The idea here was to shut off a part of the North Sea called Zuiderzee and protect the Netherlands from all the flooding because most of the country is below sea level. They even drained one of the lakes formed by the dam and created a whole new province, Flevoland. Today, the Netherlands has more than 2,200 miles of flood protection, but it's only designed for a 15-inch sea level rise. Without it, the country would be underwater. So yeah, we could do it, but it's really, really expensive. How expensive? Well, it would cost around 550 billion euros if the project is wrapped up in about 20 years. One wrong step and humans can spend 100 years building this dam and a couple of billion euros more. The good news is that this much money can be diluted over the 20 to 100 years it takes for the dam to get finished. Besides, the 15 countries it would protect could share the expenses, reducing the amount to only 0.1% of the GDP of all the countries. Not a bad deal to save millions of people, right? Okay, but is this monstrosity really necessary? Well, unfortunately, humans have managed to turn the ocean against us. This means that by 2100, the sea levels are expected to have risen between 1 to 2 feet. If we keep acting like it's none of our business, the rise can reach more than 16 feet by 2300. It may sound like a distant future, but NASA has just discovered that the ocean rose way more than they expected in 2024, which means global disaster is breathing down our necks as we speak. Let's go back to our geography classes for a moment and learn why sea levels are rising altogether. First, because land can sink. The city of Norfolk, Virginia, for example, was built inside a massive crater, and the earth there can erode and sink. Then the soil can get compacted. Because of that, the city is literally sinking into the ground, making it more vulnerable to flooding. In California, some areas are sinking too, but this time it's because of the movement of tectonic plates. Some of the land that is underwater goes up, some of the land over the water goes down. The consequences? Again heavy flooding. Sea levels also rise if the planet gets too hot. This happens because of a thing called thermal expansion. It has a very scientific name, but it basically means that things like water get bigger if the temperature rises. Half of the reason why sea levels are rising is because of this. This is why the level of the ocean increases almost 10 feet every time the average temperature of the planet rises by 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Since 1880, the sea has risen more than 8 inches. Okay, so we build the Need Dam and the problem is solved, right? Well, building this dam comes with massive consequences. First, the ocean currents, think of them as underwater highways that deliver nutrients to tiny creatures like planktons, not the SpongeBob villain, and give rides to animals like lizards and tortoises. A dam this big is capable of messing up the ocean currents that bathe Europe, disrupting the food chain not just inside the dam, but outside too. The currents are also responsible for the climate of coastal areas. The Gulf Stream, for example, is a warm current that comes all the way from Mexico and makes the weather in northwestern Europe a bit more bearable. If the Gulf Stream got interrupted by a gigantic oceanic barrier, it could make parts of Europe even colder. Another problem is that the North Sea would turn into a gigantic freshwater lake. This would happen because the salt water that used to flow from the ocean would now be blocked. And the North Sea would only be fed by the fresh water coming from inside the continent. This process would eventually lead to a thing called desalination, when salt water gets less salty. And it's really terrible because saltwater animals would start to absorb more water than they should, making the cells of their bodies swell. The consequences can be fatal. The disruption of the ocean currents by the dam can also affect the renewal of oxygen in the water. Think of the ocean as a giant recycling system. Surface water needs to sink to deliver oxygen to the deep sea, keeping creatures dwelling at the bottom alive. Without the movement of ocean currents, oxygen would run out and toxic bacteria would take over, creating a poisonous environment for sea creatures. And this is not just a theory. It happened before, 250 million years ago. The ocean got so toxic, it wiped out 95% of marine life and caused a mass extinction. If it's not bad enough, the fishing industry would collapse and the busiest trading ports of Europe like Rotterdam, Antwerp and Hamburg would be stuck inside the dam. Sure, we could build sluice gates, but imagine all those traffic jams. The rain patterns of the countries protected by the dam would change too, affecting farming lands and food production. On the other hand, if we do nothing about rising sea levels, permanent flooding could make whole countries disappear. Three million people on the islands of the Pacific would need to move away by the end of the century. The Maldives would lose 77% of its territories, and cities like Jakarta, Bangladesh, and Lagos would go underwater. Storms would get more dangerous too, destroying treatment plants for sewage and power stations and contaminating farmlands. Rising salt water could also contaminate freshwater supplies. And it's not just happening in Asia and Europe. Philadelphia, for example, is already developing plans to deal with this bleak scenario. This is why the scientists who developed this big red button shaped like a dam don't want people to actually build a dam. They know how bad things can get, which is why they came up with a plan so wild, it's basically the engineering version of screaming, hey, stop ignoring the planet. It's a warning. If we don't act now, we'll be stuck building mega dams just to keep our cities from becoming Atlantis 2.0. And let's be honest, nobody wants to live in a future where the apocalypse looks like the deep web version of the Little Mermaid. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.